Hello again, Joseph Carabas here, sharing with you uh, different writings that have inspired me, that have awed me, that have caused me to want to be better at my craft. In this case, Brian Fagan's The Little Ice Age. I previously uh, read from uh, Brian Fagan's The First North Americans. Uh, Fagan is an uh, anthropologist, archaeologist, and he is brilliant, in my estimation, at writing that brings you directly into his subject, that makes you one with the subject you experience, whatever the people he's talking about had experienced. He's also an amazingly perceptive uh, writer regarding what happens today versus what used to happen, what's important versus what was important. Case in point, from the Little Ice Age. Every civilization expresses itself through its great works. They are society's most tangible statement of what is important enough to have scarce resources lavished upon it. The pyramids of Giza and Egypt were built at enormous expense as symbolic ladders to heaven for the divine pharaohs who were buried in them 4,500 years ago. Aztec rulers of ancient Mexico laid out their 15th century capital Tenochtitlan, the place of the prickly pear cactus, in the center of their vast empire as a depiction in stone and stucco of their cosmos. Our industrial and commercial age erects universities and museums, huge concert halls and stadiums, railroads, highways, and the World Wide Web. Medieval Europeans built cathedrals. The cathedral was an act of piety, a wondrous monument, a museum, Perhaps endowed with a sacred relic, a miraculous image, or a sign of martyrdom, a cathedral at Canterbury, York, or Chartres was a tangible symbol of the imminent presence of God. The book is full of stuff like that. Um, very graphic depictions, uh, very highly visual depictions, uh, and especially important enough to have scarce resources lavished upon it. The, Fagan uses words the way a surgeon uses a scalpel. Uh, he's just amazing to me. And, and I, I have dog-eared the book. I don't know if you can see all these, you know, little dog ears I've made in here. Um, it's really breathtaking. I, I dog-ear... I, I read Fagan, number one, for the pure, pure pleasure of reading, but also because uh, in researching a lot of my work, I will read his stuff to learn what was going on at a specific time, how people were behaving, what was going on in the world. The at, there's a, with a little ice age, he explains world cultural events as they relate to what was going on in the climate. Wow. Um, so I use it uh, and, and pick up little pieces that I can use to add realism to my own work. Um, many, many authors that I read do that. Uh, Carl Safino, Beyond Words, if you get a chance to read that. Anyway, strongly suggest, uh, just for the eloquence of his writing, but also as a research tool, should you be writing about anything, in, in, at least in the case of this book, the past mm, 1,100 years, uh, 11,000 years of uh, world history? Again, Brian Fagan, Little Ice Age. Enjoy. Thank you. Bye-bye.